Alright guys, we're back with Tic Tac Doe where Brandon has, well let me write the totals down. He has $48,832 and one win. And playing him is Justin Noyes. How you doing, Justin? I'm good. Let me write the name down because I didn't get a chance to write it down. He has one win. $48,832. And Justin is going to try to stop Brandon. Now, Brandon, you still dealing with the kids' questions? Kids. Yes, I am, Rodney. And uh, uh, Justin Noy says kids as well. Okay, we're going to do the kids' questions. All right. Here are the uh, next categories we have for this game. You already know the, the Trivia Pursuit categories. The categories we have this time are our opponent's choice. The secret category, you choose the secret category, will double every dollar that is in the pot. And the $10,000 question, those are the red categories for this game. Brandon, which category would you like to start with? Oh, I need to pick. Oh, right, pick right, right, right. You're the champion. Right. <laughs> He's the champ, so here it is. There we go. If you please. All right, let's go ahead and start with sports and leisure. He likes that category. Sports and leisure, here it is, uh, Brandon, in the orange. Which of these would you see taking part in the America's Cup? Is it horses, yachts, or bicycles? Again, which of these would you see taking part in the American's Cup? In the America's Cup? Horses, yachts, or bicycles? I am going to take a guess and say horses. Horses is wrong. It's yachts. 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 There's a boat race. Okay, we shuffle it. Justin. Let's see. Um, let's put $10,000 into the pot. Good luck to you, Justin. Here's your $10,000 question. Here it is. What hurricane devastated Charleston, South Carolina in 1989? Again, what hurricane devastated Charleston, South Carolina in 1989 to put $10,000 in the pot? Andrew. Andrew is wrong. No, it's not Andrew. It's Hurricane Hugo. Hurricane Hugo. Good guess. Good guess. Uh, we shuffle. And it's back to Brandon once I... Get the pick for him. Okay. <laughs> go ahead, Brandon. Hey, let's go ahead and try this again. Sports and leisure. Going sports and leisure again. The next one, the orange. What was the first ever boys action figure? Again, what was the first ever boys action figure? Is it A, Action Man, B, Superman, or C, G.I. Joe? I am going to say a good guess and say G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is correct. Good job. All right. $2,000 is in the pot. We shuffle it. Just a noise. Hmm, let's see. I think I'll do sports and leisure. Third time in the category. Your question on sports and leisure, uh, Justin, is this. What color is the video game character Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, he's blue. That's right. Good job. Four thousands in the pot, and we shuffle it. And let me get the pick. He's like some Sega. Yep.
Go ahead, um, Brandon. All right. And do a new category. Let's do geography right in the center. All right, it's going to be a two-part question worth $3,000, and we will give you extra time on that, Brandon, okay? In the blue, here's your question. Which of these countries is famous for its churches with dome-shaped like onions? Again, which of these um, countries is famous for its churches with domes shaped like onions? Is it A, Belgium, B, Russia, or C, France? That's the first one. And the second one, what would a Japanese person put in a bento box? Is it A, pens, B, lunch, or C, coins? Here's your time to think about both of them. Brandon, which part do you want to answer first? Please. Which one? Part, please. The first part? Rodney. I think he said the first part. Okay, here's the first part. Which of these countries is famous for its churches with domes shaped like onions? Is it A, Belgium, B, Russia, or C, France? say Belgium. Belgium is wrong. I'm sorry. Belgium is wrong. The answer is Russia. Russia. And the other one, what would a Japanese person put in a bento box? The answer is lunch. His lunch. He would put his lunch in a bento box. Okay, we shuffle. It's to Justin. Let's see here. I would take Question. He's going to ten thousand dollar question. Good luck to you, Justin. This will make the pot fourteen thousand dollars if you're right. Here it is. In what year was the Toyota Prius hybrid car first commercially sold? Again, in what year was the Toyota Prius hybrid car first commercially sold? Uh, two thousand seventeen. No, not two thousand seventeen. It was nineteen ninety seven. Nineteen ninety seven. All right, we shuffle. Yeah, we shuffle it. And let me go ahead and get that pick for Brandon. Okay, uh, Brandon. Which one? And leisure. He's going sports and leisure. It's going to be a two-part question worth three thousand dollars, and we will give you the extra time. Here we go. First, what kind of sport is called sculling? Is it a rock climbing, b rowing a boat, or c free running? That's the first one. And the second one, which of these is not a sign of the Zodiac? Is it A, Taurus, B, Orion, or C, Sagittarius? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Brandon, which part do you want to answer first? Let's do the second part, please. Which of these is not a sign of the Zodiac? Is it A, Taurus, B, Orion, or C, Sagittarius? Orion. Say your answer again. Or type Rodney. it. Type it in. B or Ryan is right. Let me make sure. Yeah, B or Ryan is right. And for the center box, what kind of sport is called sculling? Is it A, rock climbing, B, rowing a boat, or C, free running? You guys say rock climbing. 
No, rock climbing is wrong. It's rowing a boat. Rowing a boat, okay? So, we still have $4,000 in the pot and we shuffle. And it's up to Justin. He's going to go with the $10,000 question again. This will put $10,000 in the pot, making it $14,000. Here's your question, Justin. What fictional park is the home of Yogi Bear? Repeat. What fictional park is the home of Yogi Bear? Jellystone National Park. Put $10,000 in the pot. Nicely done. $14,000 is in the pot and we shuffle it. We got a pot going now. Here we go. Let me get the pick. All right. And Brandon, where are you going? Well, I want to go with sports and leisure. Going with sports and leisure. Your question on sports and leisure. What color is a breast cancer awareness ribbon? Again, what color is a breast cancer awareness ribbon? Is it A, pink, B, purple, or C, yellow? Rodney. It is pink. That's right. We have $16,000 in the pot and we shuffle it. To you, Justin. Let's see. Arts and literature. You're going to try arts and literature? It's going to be in the purple. Your question on arts and literature, Justin. Name the series of children's books written by Madonna. Again, name the series of children's books written by Madonna. Is it A, The English Roses, B, The Red Roses, or C, The Famous Five? Uh, Red Roses? No, it's The English Roses. The English Roses. Okay, we still have 16000 in the pot. We shuffle. And let me get that um, pick for Brandon. Here we go. All right, Brandon. He's going to do entertainment. Okay, your question or entertainment in the paint, your question. Which is not a keyboard instrument? Is it A, accordion, B, piano, or C, harmonica? Can it be actually harmonica? It is a harmonica. That is right. It's not a keyboard instrument. It's a, uh, I think it's like a flute instrument. A percussion instrument, yes. 18,000 is in the pot. We shuffle it. Justin. I'll have to go arts and literature to block. In the purple, your question for arts and lit. What number is represented by the Roman numeral XIV? Again, what number is represented what number is represented by the Roman numeral XIV? Fourteen is correct. Nicely done. Twenty thousand dollars is in the pot. We got three boxes left. Let's see what happens. And let's go ahead and give it to Brandon. Oh, a potential double 
dog from him. All right, Brandon. Well, you know what I'm going to do? The $10,000 question for the block. All right, and this will make the pot $30,000 if you're right, Brandon, okay? Here's the $10,000 question. Which saint is said to have landed in Ireland in 432 AD? Again, which saint is said to have landed in Ireland in 432 AD to put $10,000 in the pot? Rodney. He doesn't know it. Okay. The answer was St. Patrick. St. Patrick. St. Patrick. That would be the, oh, I would have guessed that. Yeah. $20,000 is still in the pot and we shuffle it. Okay. This is a potential win for me. All right, Justin, which way you want to go? Uh, I think I'm going to try a little bit of history. He's going to try history. Okay. This is for the win. You get this question right on history. It'll be tic tac toe. $22,000, and you'll be the winner. Okay, Justin, here it is on history. The dishwasher was invented before the microwave. Is that statement true or false? The dishwasher was invented before the microwave. Is that statement true or false? True. You have tic-tac-toe. Good job. We have a new champion. Good job. So Justin has won $22,000. And you're going to go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Brandon, you have won um, $48,832 in this run. And uh, uh, thanks for playing, okay? Time, Ronnie. All right. And Justin, you ready to do the Beat the Dragon game? Yep. Someone that's my prizes for me. I'll do that. Yeah. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Justin, you know how the game is played. And let's see the prizes you could win. Excuse me. Excuse me. Here we go. A tour of Ireland. A catamaran. A trip to London. A living room group. A trip to Rio de Janeiro. A trip to Munich. And these prizes are total $38,843. All right, now, you managed to get the tick and attack on any of your picks. We give you a $45,000 bonus. During your first two picks, we'll double that bonus to $90,000. And you have a shot in a new car, Justin. Good luck to you. Go ahead and start picking. Six. Let's see what's in number six. $1,500. Stop or go? Number nine. I should have known. Let's see what's behind number nine. $4,000, you have 5500 All you need is $5,000 to get the prize package. I'm going to go with four. Does it do it right away with number four? $1,000, you have to 6500 You need another 3500 for the prize package. Three. He's going forward with number three. Does he do it with number three? No, he doesn't do it. Sorry about that, Justin. Let's see where that uh, tick and attack and everything else. Tick was in number five and the... Yeah, number one would have been. Yeah, and number eight was the attack. So that means the jackpot goes up to $50,000 or $100,000 if it happens on the first two picks. We still have time to do a third game in this episode. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 